name's Lisa Whiteside. I box for Great Britain at 51 kilograms um, from Preston area, Lancashire. Hey, my name's Sandy Ryan, box for Great Britain, 60 kilo boxer um, from Derby. I used to play football first, so I've always been sporty. And then uh, watching my older brother on his first debut, um, I just went to the gym with him and um, I carried on ever since. I actually medalled at the Worlds and the Europeans whilst being full-time police officer. So I used to box at 57 kilograms, uh, went to the Europeans, we start on a gold by a point, then went to the Worlds, which was the last qualifier for the last Olympics. So I then had to build myself up for them tournaments like a full-time athlete whilst working shifts. So um, like if I worked a night shift, I'd come home, I'd do my run before I go to bed, and then I'd get up and then I'd go training. And yeah, it was hard to work out your eating habits and things like that as well. So it was difficult at times, shattering as well, but I did it and I enjoyed it back then. So I went away with the girls from GB uh, to the world 2012, which was the Olympic qualifier. And the funniest thing was, obviously I medalled like the other girls did. On the way home, on the flight home, they were getting a week off and I was doing my night shift the next day. So yeah, it definitely gave me that fire in my belly and then just so grateful to then have this opportunity full time. When obviously I got this opportunity to come on GB full time was appreciate rest now, appreciate time off because my rest was working. Sometimes you take things for granted, so when we've got a big set up here, you just take it with both hands and you use everything you can. You know, when we have countries come over here for training camps, I think they're wowed by our facilities and what we have. And, you know, we've got the best coaches in the world. The team that come with us and help us is phen phenomenal, you know. You've got psychologists, the physios, the nutritionists, uh, obviously all the coaches. So it's just a great setup and it's just to make it as easy as they can for you. We quite enjoy it, to be fair. We, we, like in the house, we both live together with Natasha and it's like, oh, we, we, we've got our nutritional parts and things that we want to do and then we're always learning and it's really a nice thing for us and we do a bit of cooking together and so, no, we, it's quite an enjoyable thing but obviously having the nutritionist here uh, to give us the help and advice and then obviously when we go away to competitions we get our packs and we know what to take, when to take so, yeah, it's all set routine and uh, it's quite an easy setup really. We've got two or three weeks in between the world and the Olympics. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I, I think it's beneficial in a way because we're going to be on top four, obviously for the qualification events, to then just peak and continue and stay super fit and just build on it ready for the Olympics. You've always got to have that time where you peak and you're at your utmost, but then I think for fitness wise, for the I think it's good just to stay there and stay super fit and just keep progressing on from there. It's down to obviously for selection processes, it's obviously down to the uh, head coaches and Rob McCracken and down to international performances mainly. Um, I would absolutely love a box off uh, Gwyneth Adams because uh, it should have happened at the ABAs but unfortunately didn't. Um, so yeah, that's something I would actually like to occur if it happens, is another story. You always want to be the best, don't you, and get that gold. And um, I think you've got to think of you winning that. If you think anything less, then you're going to do less, aren't you? So um, you've, got to, you've got to have um, some confidence. I think you've got to have that ultimate goal, haven't you? You've got to wish for the best and want the best, because that's then going to drive you. And then, you know, if you then, not settled, but you then got something else, you'd still be so chuffed with that achievement. So, but um, it's like, obviously, me and Sam came away from the Worlds with silver. So next time, you're going to want gold, aren't you? You want to change the colour from last time. So I think you've always got to strive for the best and, and hope to, to get that far. Mm -hmm.